Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to your favorite channel, PHDNs. In this episode, let us talk about how to boost your citation score. So, if you are a researcher who is working very hard to publish papers, and you have published papers recently, and you are thinking how to increase or boost your citation score. Let me give you some of the ten tips to increase your citation with a live example of one of the researcher. So, before moving on to the content, let me remind you: if you are new to this channel, please do hit the subscribe button and share the video among your scientific community. So, moving on to the video, let us see one by one. Before moving on to the tips. Let us see what is citation. A citation is a reference to the source of information used in your research or in your manuscript. Once you start your research career, you try to accumulate data like research articles from different sources, and these sources you try to read them, come up with your new idea, follow the methodology. These Uh, reference articles becomes your guide for citing their work so once you plan your experiment conduct your experiment come up with your uh, data the next part is you try to write your papers and publish and during the publication you cite different uh, um, references which you have followed or referred so what is the importance of a citation just imagine once your work is published and if this is your work people try to read your work and they try to refer for example your work will be referred by different researchers across the globe and they start citing your research article so tip number 1 how to boost your citation the best way is to upload your uh, uh, research article on site on social uh, platforms such as facebook twitter uh, linkedin youtube etc where you can make your research attract audience from different backgrounds so the second tip is publishing lots of papers if you have a good amount of data and if you are planning to publish your data then make a schedule try to plan your writing and publish your research articles on regular basis so tip number 3 you need to have your uh, profile in different scientific platforms such as web of science scopus researchgate google scholar academia publons and orchid ids so let me show you like at the end of this video let me show you uh, the different uh, scientific platform and their benefits so please do watch the video till the end so tip number 4 is you need to publish more review articles compared to your uh, research articles so how do you publish your uh, review articles before you could start your research journey you are collecting different research articles and these articles you are reading these articles and looking for some new input from your side planning your experiment by referring these research articles why don't you compile all these research articles and draft a review by giving your own in- input like you collect your research papers and try to 
give a brief introduction then come up with the previous scientific works then give your own input a perspective like how to address a particular problem and most important while you are publishing a review articles you need to have an attractive titles please make sure that you need to grab the audience as well as editorial board to publish your review articles at the same time you need to be very specific with your keywords and when you are publishing your review article see to it that you have a, a good amount of uh, references cited in your review articles so i will show you at the end like how to get an attractive titles keywords etc so moving on to the fifth try to collaborate with different scientific communities just imagine if you are working on a particular area you can find different other research groups are also involved in working on similar or a different aspects related to your field try to communicate with them try to collaborate with them try to request them that uh, you will share your uh, authorship with them and ask them whether they can accommodate you as a co-author like this you can improve your uh, uh, research papers at the same time it also increases your citation score so tip number six is work as a volunteer in journals where you can act as a reviewer wherein you are not just act like reviewing the paper but also you are upgrading your scientific knowledge in a particular field once just imagine if you are reviewing a paper related to your field and if you are reading that paper reviewing that paper and if you see any lacuna in that paper and if you think that this research gap in the paper can be addressed by referring your one of your research articles then you can easily uh, state the authors that your research article submitted has this lacuna which can be addressed by a read, referring or reading this research article where the authors try to read your research article and try to implement the gap or a lacuna by referring your research article so tip number seven target your journals so everybody wants to submit the research findings in scopus index sci index pubmed elsewhere springer willy taylor and francis hindway etc but we simply ignore the journals which are non scopus or new journals or journals offering a free publication here my dear viewers i would like to add a note that if you try to target these journals like once in a year if you have any research review which you think that uh, you can come up with a mini review then you try to focus on journals which are new which are offering free publications then you get more advertisement as these new journals are trying to attract submissions they try to promote their published research articles if you have your research or review article published in these journals they try to promote their journal at the same time that indirectly your uh, research work will be promoted at the same time once you start your research work and if you get a significant findings then try to publish this uh, findings as a short communication in your profile you need to have a research article review article as well as short communication so moving on to the tip number eight try to target special issues here in there are lots of calls every year on the yearly basis for contributing a research article in a special issues which are published by elsewhere springer 
Catherine Francis and different scientific publishers. These special issues are advertised to get more contributions and if your research article fits into this special issues then you get wide publicity which attracts more audience and tip number nine try to attend more conferences where you tend to meet a different scientific audience scientific communities who are working on different aspects of science or uh, different fields or same field related to your research try to share your knowledge try to get updated and try to participate by presenting your uh, research paper or findings where you can get more citations last but not the least tip number 10 expert advice is a really valuable highly valuable no matter who you are the expert advice is highly essential even the biggest research researchers who have flourished in the scientific field one one time or the other during their scientific journey they have done the expert advice if you are looking for expert advice then please don't hesitate to contact us on phdns at gmail.com wherein you can get advice by sending your profile or cv to us so that we can evaluate and get back to you if not you can also talk to your supervisors uh, seniors colleagues or your competitors to get benefited so moving on to like the live demonstration by giving an example taking an, a profile as an example if you type this said Parker here you can you can see like different scientific platforms such as Google Scholar ResearchGate Academia Orchid LinkedIn etc so let us see one by one you can see the profile here uh, with the web of science researcher id where you can see the different your um, if you have your research id here your uh, research articles will be uh, in this id where you can see different research articles and the time number of times they have been cited at the same time if you try to log in with LinkedIn so that you can get connected with different people and the next is Academia where you need to enter your details upload your papers to get more visibility you can see here uh, one of our articles was downloaded one not downloaded and viewed and you can see this creates more audience to your profile so moving on to the next orchid id where you have your unique id if you are looking for what is an orchid id you can go back to my video and see in my previous videos i have mentioned about orchid id and here you can see your employment history like your awards qualification funding from where you have got and your research papers which will be listed down here which is very important for any of the researcher who is a budding researcher who wants to apply for funding if you mention your id they can glance at your uh, scientific credentials so here you can see scopus id you have a unique uh, number for this id and it will show the stats how your research is getting cited a year of publication complete details so researchgate is also an excellent platform where you can 
see your complete uh, details with the affiliation it try to promote your research by like creating an audience and asking the audience to read your research and give the feedback so you can see the dif different publications here and like Google Scholar you can see the citation score uh, is, is increasing as I could publish more and more papers so as I mentioned in my um, uh, presentation earlier you can see like this paper first paper which has grabbed a quite number of citation 182 which was published in uh, 2013 and if you click on this paper this paper is like published in a normal journal one of my colleague published and she gave me an authorship because I was one of the contributor and you could see that this paper which was published in 2013 has grabbed wider audience compared to my other papers so let us see again like you can see even this is a new it was a new journal when we published our review article where we have got a good citations and it is indexed in PubMed but still it has not got any uh, impact factor but still it has grabbed a wider audience and we were able to get more citation from this review article so likewise let me show you my first review article which I published it was also in a normal journal which was very new brand new in 2012 I published which has got 67 which has been cited by 67 research papers and at the same time I have also published like good amount of review articles in Elsevier, Springer etc and during my tips I had told you about uh, attractive research title for example if you type nanobactericides and here you can see like when you type this word you can find all the research articles related to my work one two three four five like this you need to come up uh, with a new title for example I had published a review article which had a title nano agroparticles here you can see it has grabbed a wider audience with 50 citation since it was published and here you can see mycosynthesis it is it was a fungal based synthesis we gave a like term mycosynthesis myco means fungi synthesis so at the same time you you need to come up with a good and attractive title so likewise your title should have an attractive name and the keywords if you are having a good a trending keywords then your you have a high chances of visibility so guys with this I would like to end my uh, presentation or video please do 
subscribe to our channel and support us if you have any queries please do contact us on phdns at gmail.com and it is a tough time for the world during the lockdown process let us fight corona together let us hope that we will overcome this pandemic situation so during this pandemic situation please upgrade your scientific knowledge and stay safe be healthy goodbye